What's up guys, I'm Rissin from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Objective-C programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use typecasting. So let's get started. Now what is typecasting? Well typecasting is just converting one data type to another and I'll show you how that works. Let's first declare a couple of variables. I'm going to declare float so we're going to type in F-L-O-A-T, right? And uh, I'm going to give our variable a name, I'm going to call my float F1, right? and let's end it with a semicolon because we're not going to give it a value. We're just declaring a variable. It's a float data type and we called our float f1. Now we're going to declare a integer variable. So we're going to use the integer data type. So type in i n t, right? Hit space. Sorry, let's delete this here. And add the t here. So i and t, integers are data type. And now we got to give our uh, variable a name. So I'm going to call this uh, red, right? And let's make this one equal to, let's say, 5. And it would be semicolon. So now we have two variables that we declared, right? Our first one is a float, and our second one is an integer. Our float variable, we didn't give it a value. And our integer variable, we gave it a value of 5, and then we called it red. So now let's do something down here. Uh, let's start off by saying f1, right? Which is our, our float. And we can say... And we can say f1 equals, and now we're going to hit space. So now I'm going to add our variable red in this statement here. We know our variable red has an integer data type, so it, it's going to be, get messed up. So now before we use our variable red, which is, has an integer data type, we're going to convert it to a float. To do that, we're going to type in float before uh, the variable, right? So we type in our variable f1, which is a float, right? We want our, our answer to be stored in f1. And we, we said it's equal, then we added this open and close parentheses, right? Then we added the, the data type that we want our next variable to be converted to. We want to, to convert variable red, right? So variable red, which is an integer data type, since we put float in front of it, it's going to be converted into a, a float. So we're going to say red plus one. And, and there would be a semicolon. Now let's print this out on the screen. Let's see what happens. So we're going to use the NS log, so capital N S. L, lowercase o, lowercase g, open and close parentheses, right? Let's add a space before uh, the open and close parentheses here. So now we're going to add a semicolon inside this open and close parentheses. We're going to add this at symbol, right? So we're going to add this double quote, right? So two double quotes. Now, since uh, our we're going to print out the value of f1, right? Which is going to have the converted integer red. So we have to use percent symbol f as the integer uh, placeholder. And I'll say this double quote, we're going to add a comma, hit space, then we're going to type in the variable that we want to pass to. We want to pass to variable f1, right? So now it's going to print out the value of f1, which has the converted value of red plus 1. All right, so let's press play, see what happens. Build succeeded. And it, as you can see, it printed out 6.1. We know floats are uh, numbers with uh, decimal points, see? Uh, we, we started out with our, our integer data type here. Our variable red had a value of 5, right? We declared it with a value of 5. Down here, we said our float uh, f1 is going to store the value of red plus 1. But red plus 1, red had an integer data type. So, so we had to convert it into a float. So we added this uh, double parentheses, open and close. And in between the open and close parentheses, we added the float because we wanted to convert red here into a float. Alright, so that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.